Hi, Dr. Mike Marinas here, chiropractor with a passion for families and children's health. So today I want to talk to you about scoliosis. First of all, what is scoliosis? Well, it's an abnormal side bending or lateral curvature of the spine. Now we're supposed to have curves in your spine, but they're supposed to go back to front and they're there to be able to help you with shock absorption. They're not supposed to be there side to side. And if we have side to side curves, they can cause quite a bit of havoc. So how do you know if your child is affected by scoliosis? So there are a couple of things that you can do at home. The first one is you're going to start off by looking at them from behind. Child is going to have the shirt off and you are going to be placed behind them looking at the structures of their back. First of all, you want to see is their head slightly off center from the hips. Number two, we want to see does the trunk and rib cage look like it has shifted to one side. Now a good way of checking this is to look at the gap that's left between the elbow and the side of the body. That gap is going to be larger on the side opposite of the shift. Number three, look to see if there's any asymmetry in the child's waist. Number four, does one hip look like it is slightly higher than the other hip? Number five, does one shoulder blade look like it's popping off the back of the ribs? And number six, you're going to look for any type of spinal bend that you can see in your child's back. Now number two, you're going to get your child to bend forward in front of you. Make sure that their knees are locked straight and that they have their head straight. Pop the palms of their hands together and get them to bend from the hips. The back, as you can see it from your vantage point, should look completely flat. If one side of the rib cage looks like it is higher than the other, this might be a reason for you to seek help. Another thing to keep in mind is that if there is a history of scoliosis in your family, that should ring a red bell for you as well. Now, if you are worried at all after going through the screening process, please contact your healthcare provider and get your child assessed professionally. I really hope this helps and we will chat soon.